When you compare the two most common types of drones, quadrotors and drones with wings, you see that for the same weight, drones with wings can fly much longer. However, drones with wings are less agile than quadrotors. We look at birds of prey and we notice that they use a combination of the motion of the wings and of the tail to turn very rapidly and also to fly very slow. So based on the inspiration that we had from a highly agile bird, which is called the northern goshawk, we developed this drone right here, which has a morphing wing and a morphing tail, uh, which are made of artificial feathers. These morphing capabilities allow us to adapt the shape of the aircraft to different flight situations. And contrary to, to real birds, we still have a propeller at the front and we don't have flapping wings. For example, if we want to fly fast and we want to use little, as little power as possible, we can retract the wing and the tail, which reduces the wing area and the drag is also reduced. With this we can fly much further. On the other hand, if we want to have an aircraft that is very agile, for example to avoid obstacles or uh, to fly in cluttered environments, we can extend the wing and the tail, which greatly increases the agility of the aircraft. And so the combination of wing morphing and morphing of the tail gives us this enormous agility that would allow drones to, for example, fly in cities around buildings very rapidly or fly in forests. And this is very important for rescue missions, for example, inspection missions. But also we can imagine that we can scale this principle up to other type of aircraft which use a front propeller to achieve much higher agility.